Hey all, Agency here from Force SWC. Been away for the last couple of months. We've had uh, the Christmas holiday period, whatever you celebrate. I hope you had a top time. And then we had New Year's and then had the kids and stuff and had to wait for them to all go back to school. But now they're all back to school and everything. So it's some time for SWC. But in that time, a lot's happened. Zinger and Nash, <clears throat> Natural Motion, they've taken over from Disney. So that'll be awesome. They're going to do some uh, cool stuff. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Who knows? Maybe they won't change anything, but we'll see, won't we? Anyway, quickly, let's recap. So I've been sneaking on and doing a quick couple upgrades and keeping the upgrades going on my DDOs and stuff when I have have time. Now, it's been that long since that I've made a video. I managed to mess it up just before and recorded everything in portrait. It was so funny. It looked fine when I had my phone up normally in portrait, but then when I turned it into landscape, it was the size of a postage stamp and I couldn't see a thing. So I'm going to remake the whole video. But I did manage to get on and got my Wookie Wags up another level. Nothing for Wookie Wags for making you think you're an awesome player when you're totally crap. <laughs> Especially in Squad Wars. I love those things. They can't clear a base. So I'll load up my Wookie Wags. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, plenty of times that I've used them and they haven't worked too. But let's not talk about any of that. So I've decided. I've finished doing my upgrades here. Look on my jug and my hail. Then I decided that my sniper was probably the one that I get requested the most that I don't actually use, so I better whack him up to prestige. Um, um, I wish I had I had a bit more credit uh, storage upgraded and whatnot. That's what I, I might end up doing uh, here right now. Getting this going to P. And uh, that'll uh, allow me to... Um, if I can do two of those, I'll get to 6.5 and do my starship uh, because the Prestige A-Wing can now take out a Prestige Shield. So that's a that's a great thing that they've fixed. And they've also made the uh, med droids at Prestige fixed as well. So that's probably the uh, unit that I'll research to Prestige next after this. When they first came out of Prestige, they only healed whatever you dropped them next to and they latched onto. They didn't have the area buff like they do from level 1 to 10. But now they fixed that with the Prestige. And so I'm looking forward to um, having those at Prestige. will be quite cool. But I've got loads of samples of them anyway. The big, big news part though. Zynga's taken over. And they've actually reached out to some of the veteran players in the game. To ask for some suggestions. And how to improve things. And uh, what areas do they need to look at. So that is really cool. There's no promises or guarantees that any of the suggestions that they make will be taken on board, but but um, we've I've had me, oh, I'm not one of the liaisons, <laughs> but I've had my ear to the ground, so to speak, and I've heard from a certain uh, Vulcan informant uh, that occasionally comes up with very good nuggets of information. Uh, there's going to hopefully be some great changes coming and that they've been very responsive and very thankful for the info that they've gotten but there is absolutely zero guarantees so who knows they may or may not listen to us but at the moment they are listening which is a great start and um the the, the veteran players have been passing along the most common requests and issues that uh, we all have with the game directly to the dev that's the developers of the game so not to customer support this isn't customer support that's talking to these uh, people in the community this is the actual developers so this is going straight to the guys who can actually fix things as much as we all love customer support and the great role that they play in having to put up with us all when we love to wind our asses off the devs are the guys who can actually get in there and fix some of these stuff so a couple of the suggestions have obviously been to get the uh, lag fixed for the chat lag fixed as we all know see i'm on an s6 edge which isn't uh, uh you know totally new phone but it's not a super crappy old one either and um look I'm, i've hit the button there now to change between my factories and while i'm still blethering all this crap it's still waiting to change it's waiting to change i'm thinking did i even hit it oh yes i did hit it look finally it's changed over now it redraws the things rightio so you can see that lags bad and we all know that the general chat lag as well is um is is we always have weird things going on with requests 
um, with just big bursts of chat come through, like you get 10 or 15 minutes worth of chat come through at once. And uh, But of course, you know, hopefully all that stuff will be looked at, but there's no guarantees, okay? No guarantees, people, but they are, uh, they've, they've been talked to about it. They've also made some suggestions for some other cool new stuff, um, a no-op button for when you go to do squad wars, because loads and loads of squads love to engage in no-op wars, and they'll keep all of the ops which is, stands for outposts, they'll keep them all neutral in a war. So you can see this last war here. There was TAT. What's that looks like? Uh, Dando and Taco. Okay, so <laughs> guaranteed 45 draw there with those ones. So, you know, lots of squads like to try and avoid that. So they'll go the outposts and whoever can do the best job without the outposts wins. So they've, they're they hoping that maybe they'll be able to add a uh, some sort of button to that like they do at the moment when you go to start squad war and you can tick it to say if you want to, um, to verse your own faction or whatnot. So that could be excellent. Who knows? Might get added, might not get added. There's no guarantees at all. And um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now, uh, I just want to say big thanks to all the people that have continued to watch my videos and su subscribe and leave comments and s what stuff while I've been away. I'll get back on all that in the next week or two. Now I've got a little bit more free time and start responding. Those people who were uh, asking about um, where the use, yeah, the Ultra Chrome League statistics and whatnot come from, that's from an app called Line, L-I-N-E. You can find that in your app store or game store apple store play store whatever the heck store you're calling it this week there'll be a line app in there and on that you can contact heaps of different players there's lots of star wars players so just search for star wars commander and line and see see what you get come up who knows but we can talk about all that in another episode coming up soon because there's some very exciting stuff coming out with an awesome website that's been developed by the community uh, called uh, gsow galactic squads of war and, well, we're going to go into that one next week, aren't we? Okay. Fingers crossed that everything's going to go well with Zynga. So far, they're listening. That's great. There's no guarantees. But let's just hope, everybody, that uh, they're on board with the players. And they're going to keep all the awesomeness that is Star Wars Commander rolling. And fix those mistakes that uh, were left behind now. And let's be patient with these guys because they've got a lot to fix that Disney left. Not quite complete, shall we say. Okay, thanks everybody for watching and listening. Hit the like, subscribe, and leave me a comment and all that sort of stuff. You know I love it. Rightio, see you all later.